Hey guys, welcome to another video and another question. I have a couple of probability questions for you today. They're quick questions. Two coins with probability of heads as U and V respectively are tossed independently. If probability both coins show up tails is equal to probability both coins show up heads, then U plus V equals. Okay, so what we have, let's just write down what we have. So suppose you have, there are two coins, probability of head for one. So for coin one, probability of heads, say is U. And for coin two, probability of heads is say V. Automatically, probability of tail for coin one will be one minus U. And probability of tail for coin two will be one minus V. Now we are given that they are tossed independently. So they're not, uh, you know, dependent on each other. So probability both sh show tail. Probability both tail will be equal to probability of tail for coin 1, probability of tail for coin 2. Okay? Because they're independent, right? So you will get 1 minus u into 1 minus v. And that will give you 1 minus u minus v plus u into v, right? Similarly, probability both heads, both coins are showing heads is equal to probability head probability head, this one say for coin 1, this one for coin 2. So this will be u into v. And they both are equal. So according to the question, we get 1 minus u minus v plus uv is equal to uv which means that uv cancels and what we get is 1 is equal to u plus v and that's what we wanted to find out what is u plus v the options were 1 by 4 1 by 2 3 by 4 1 and 1 is the correct answer that is option d is the most appropriate option another quick question let E and F be two events with probability E greater than zero. Probability F condition to E is 0.3 and probability E intersection F complement is 0.2. Then probability E equals. So what are we given? What are we are given that probability F condition to Probability F condition to E is equal to 0.3, which means probability of E intersection F upon probability E is equal to 0.3, right? So that means probability of E intersection F is equal to 0.3 times probability E, right? Now, what are we given? We are given probability E intersection with F complement is 0 0.2. Now, observe or consider if you take the probability of event E, that should be equal to Probability of, if you have say two events, right, E and F. So E could be taken up as the intersection of E with the F complement and intersection of E with F and that gives you the complete event E, right? So I can write down E. E is basically union of E intersection with F complement 
and E intersection with F. And of course, because these are mutually, these two are mutually exclusive. Therefore, this union is just adding. So in terms of probability, probability of E is probability E intersection with F complement plus probability E intersection with F. We are given the probability of E intersection F complement is 0.2 and we have just figured out that the probability of this intersection is 0.3 times probability E. So, what will we get? We will get probability E 1 minus 0.3 is equal to 0.2. So, probability E is 0.2 upon 0.7, that is 2 by 7. Do we have any such option? Yes, absolutely. Option B is the correct option. So, B will be the correct option. So, note here what we have used. We have used that E could be represented as the union of E intersection with F complement and E intersection with F. Many a times in these kind of problems where uh, you know, you have to look into unions and intersections. Little bit of Venn diagrams help you out in simplifying if it's a tedious question. This one was not very tedious, but since we were given E intersection F complement, so I had to get F complement in the picture somehow so that I could use that fact. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.